Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and this is my son Ben. And today we have a deeper look to the Bonner Haven, 12 years old. And well, we had been to Bonner Haven I've been to the Haven distillery. It was in 2015 in December. So there was really not much going on at the distillery in, 2000, uh, in December. Um, because, yeah, nobody goes to Scotland in December because it's all snow and rain and actually it wasn't that bad. So if you... It was a lot of wind you lost Yeah, I lost the German. <laughs> there was a lot of wind and we had hail once and there was, yeah, kind of rainy a few days, but it was better than expected. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So Bundahaben is on the very east side of the Isla, uh, of the Isle of Isla and a bit up in the north. So um, Bunnehaven is named after the, the river Bunnehaven and they, the Bunnehaven means river mouth. So they built the Bunnehaven distillery at the river mouth near the, the but shore. I, I haven't ever seen the yeah. river. You can't really see the river because it's an underground river. So that's oh, where they get hidden secrets. Mm -hmm. And the water from this river is in the whiskey. I think it is. And, um, but what the Bunnehaben distillery also has is the name Bunnehaben was spelled differently at, uh, from the what is it, Her Majesty Ordnance Service. And I think I've told the story twice mm -hmm. now, so mm -hmm. I don't have to tell it again. But there is a bit of a confusion. If you look it up in, in Google Maps, you will find that there is a bit of spelling difference here. And they do have a town called Bunnehaven, the and river, so river town, Bunnehaven. The town, really? Yeah, it's a, a <laughs> village and the distillery and what do you call it? Uh, uh, the pier. The pier, no, the, the, the mm, English word. <laughs> yeah, the, the shore is also called Bunnehaven. Yeah, mm -hmm. and what you always see at the distillery, uh, at the bottles, you always see this... Uh, man steering at the steering wheel and that's because the Bundahaven distillery was the first distillery the the uh, sailors saw when they returned home and saw the, the Bundahaven distillery and took a stop there and had a whiskey and filled up their reserves so that's why they made the song Westering Home, which is about coming home. And to I Isla. think they're, mm. they're mentioning Isla there. So, oh, we are Westering Home and oh, there's Isla and we like it so mm. much. Mm -hmm. Whiskey. <laughs> so, Bunnehaven, 12 years old. It's 46.3 ABV. It's uncolored, until filtered a whiskey, how it should be. Uh, there are miniatures on the market. Very, uh, yeah. Uh, they show uh, uh, the old design, not the new one, but the content stayed the same. Yeah, the content remained the same. Think, so yeah. they just had, uh, they just wanted a new design. Yeah, which has uh, pleasing red. I, I like, really like the red here. Uh, in former times, it was more more dark green. Yeah, more dark green. green. And, and then uh, the Buna Haven. Uh, was filled with 40% ABV and it was chill filtered and I think it was colored and then they uh, were bought by uh, Burn Stewart, came to the conglomerate of the Burn Stewart distilleries and Burn Stewart was then bought, I think, by a South African company called Distel, one of the very huge big wine manufacturers. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, from then on, uh, production rose a lot and work uh, they worked steadily over the year and the years before um, there were a lot of gaps in the vintages so the 25 years old and even older uh, they are quite scarce mm. <clears throat> yeah but uh, right now when I was there the production was uh, was good they have uh, big pop stills they run them pretty much all year round they have just expanded the warehouse they fortified their old malting floors and now their warehouses. So I think that the Buna Haven distillery is looking towards a bright future because mm. they, they've seen that what the market wants, uh, mm. a nice unchill filtered, a bit more percentage, uncolored, mm. natural whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, they do have good stuff. They went a bit into the P 
repeated stuff, which is also in high demand. So yeah, I would say repeated. they mm -hmm. they do have the supply. I think they do have the demand. The demand will rise a bit. And the money from and the investor. They have the money from the investor. So I think it will be a bright future for Buna Heaven. Yeah, what I uh, I visited uh, Buna Heaven the last time in 1995, so 20 years uh, ago for you, and uh, there the the pot stills were quite shiny copperish light mm -hmm. and now they are dark and brownish so they are firing a lot and they have a huge production yeah but i've talked to the the tour guide there and he said that they they believe in not polishing it and they say yeah it's a working instrument and so we we okay. just we just we just keep it functioning and we're not doing it for like to show off how mm, so shiny and so nice and mm -hmm. so they they really, they really want to show that they are into the, the working and uh, the production as well. So this is uncolored, until filtered, and is really good. A nice color, nice dark color. Uh, there are a lot of sherry casks in this. Sherry cask matured whiskies in it. Yeah, there's a mixture of sherry and bourbon <coughs> casks, mm -hmm. which yeah. is kind of usual. <sighs> but the amount of sherry cask is high. Mm -hmm. Definitely a a lot of dark sherry, vanilla, caramel, fresh casks. So it's a dark, full, intense smell. The forty six point three definitely brings up oh, the aromas. Yeah. But there's no <laughs> no smoke at all. So I probably there's a little bit of of oak already of aromatic oak uh, smellable, but there's no smoke. No. Yeah, the smoke. Uh, not there too very very faint. So it's nah. There's no smoke. And um, yeah, do you get a bit of a bit of a spiciness, bit of a nuttiness, bit of a, a sweetness. It's a well-balanced one, a well-balanced Scotch whiskey with a bit of a bit of a wine note, a little bit of a wine yeah. note. The, the wine note is only there if you put your nose <laughs> deep into yeah, the glass. Definitely. If you, if you put it a bit more further away, yeah. you, you do have the bourbon sweetness, caramel. Yeah. And there is some, some nuttiness showing up. Mm -hmm. I think uh, if you have a fresh emptied sherry cask and you smell on it you have this hazelnut walnut smell on it and this is here definitely <laughs> this dark slightly sweet aroma develops into a, a bang, a full intensity on your tongue and spiciness. Well, the ABV is quite high, pushing it in your mouth and it's mouth-watering. The sherry shows through a wonderful, complex, full attacking aroma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's nice that mm. you do have really, it's intense at the beginning, very intense with um, sweetness, but also a lot of spices, nuttiness. It's a it's a good sherry aroma, but the taste is a little bit, uh, the sweetness develops, I would say. At the beginning, you don't have that much sweetness where you say, mm, a bit it's of a- More spiciness. Yeah. yeah, more spiciness. And then you come with the sweetness and now I get a bit of dryness. Mm, this one is really a, a complex one with a, with a little bit of a journey. Yeah. And this taste. one is, is an Isla Mall, definitely. Mm -hmm. A lot in it, a full aroma. And probably this aromatic, uh, s sad, smoky note is a far C. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not smoky. Probably mm -hmm. the, the, the near C. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a maritime, yeah. marine influence on that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a but wonderful I like drum. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a complex one. 12 years of age, you have to 
have to work hard to get such a complex whiskey with 12 years of age. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. you just have the right casks on that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to know more about the Buna Haven Distillery, then please feel free to go to whiskey.com. We have a whole article about the Buna Haven Distillery with a lot of photos, um, locations, different bottlings they have, and also the taste of all these bottles. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.